my name's Emma and I'm a plant scientist and this is the farm where I work. Now this might just look like a bunch of shipping containers to you but there's actually a farm inside here. So let's go inside and take a look. So now we're inside these shipping containers and what's in here is actually a vertical farm where we grow plants for eating. So what I'll do is I'll give you a quick tour of here and show you all of the facilities. So this room here is a germination room. It's empty at the moment, but normally it would be full of trees with seeds in them germinating so that we can then put them into our vertical farm system. Okay, so this here is the vertical farm. And what's really special about this farm is that we grow plants using special LED lights, which give them the spectra that they need to photosynthesize. And we only grow the plants in water with nutrients added to it, so there's no soil in here at all. Okay, so this system here is called an ebb and flood system. And what happens is you normally have plants sitting in trees here, the water comes out of here and it floods the roots of the plants with nutrient solution for several minutes. After that, this cuts off and the plants are left to dry out for a while. This happens several times a day. And the reason we use this method is to replicate areas where plants maybe get flooded frequently, so they're used to get in the, the roots soaking wet and then going through a period of drying out. So another system that we use in vertical farming is this one here, and this is known as nutrient film technique. Now what happens is we grow our plants in these little rock pool cubes. They have a little hole that you can plant the seed in. Just in here. Plant your seed in there. You leave it to germinate in there and then you can pop it into this little plant pot which has holes inside. You can then pop these into the nutrient film system. And what happens is Several times a day, plants get a small amount of nutrient solution through these tubes and it flows along this guttering, if you like, and the plants can take up the nutrients from the solution. Now, nutrient film technique is really interesting because only the bottoms of the roots of the plants actually get the nutrient solution. The tops of the roots remain dry they're left in the air so that they can take up oxygen. The last setup that we have in the vertical farm here is what's known as deep water culture. Now normally we would have plants um, in polystyrene floats floating on top of the water here. And what happens is the plants are grown in a deep, solution, a deep nutrient solution. So what happens here is the water comes out of here with such force that it forcibly aerates the water so that the plants can get plenty of dissolved oxygen from the water. The excess water then drains away down this drain here. This is a particularly good for growing plants like lettuce which grow long roots um, that are really happy to grow in uh, deep water culture. So this is the plant room in the vertical farm and this is where all of the equipment for running the farm is. What we have here is a massive 2,000 litre irrigation tank and that's where all of our water is stored that then gets recycled and reused. And there are various filters here and UV filters for sterilizing the water. What's really cool in this farm is that we have 11 nutrient tanks so we can feed the plants combinations of 11 different nutrients at any one time. And what is really brilliant is that all of this can be controlled by this little panel here. And basically, this can be controlled remotely from your phone or, you com or your computer. So you don't even have to leave the house to control what's happening in the farm. Okay, so you might be wondering why do we grow plants in a vertical farm? Well, there are many reasons. 
Growing in a vertical farm is incredibly environmentally friendly. All of the water that's used here is recycled and reused. As we all know, water is a very precious resource, so the less that we can use or the less that we waste, the better. Being indoors here, it doesn't matter what season of the year it is, we can basically grow any crop. So in here we can grow strawberries in December or Brussels sprouts in June. It really doesn't matter what season it is, we can grow any crop at any time of the year. Also, because everything is contained in here, we are basically free from any pests or diseases. And this means that we do not have to apply any pesticides, fungicides or herbicides which makes this an incredibly environmentally friendly way to farm.